give him a balloon, he's good to go. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to another Pokemon Days. Today, we are going to be counting down my picks for the top 10 best Pokemon in the overused tier. A few uh, candidates should pop up on the screen right about now. We got Alakazam for his speed and special attack, Ferrothorn for setting up hazards, Lobpunny for her speed, uh, Skarmory is pretty cool with Defog and hazards as well, and then Klefki has Prankster and hazards, which is just friggin' insane. None of them did make it. Um, the word of the day is versatility. Is probably what you'll hear me say about most of the mons that uh, I've chosen for this list. So I do hope you'll agree with it. We'll get right into it. Uh, this is the top 10 overused Pokemon. Let's go! Number 10. Weavile is definitely a huge threat. Her attack stat is gigantic as well as her speed. If you give her a choice band, uh, you're looking at one of the best revenge killers in the game, in my opinion. Stab ice moves means that uh, Ice Shard is going to take a gigantic chunk out of the dragons that inhabit the OU tier. It's also extremely good with Pursuit. If you throw uh, that choice band on it, you're going to be able to nix anybody that tries to leave the field, which is great for uh, pulling threats back in, like uh, Gengar or... Mistrevis. While none of her abilities do her much good, she doesn't really need it. Also, the shiny looks really cool, which isn't um, particularly pertinent, but I really, really like a pink Weavile. Here we see a uh, Weavile up against a Tyranitar, and hits it with the low sweep, four times super effective. Doesn't quite kill it, uh, but this proves that her defense isn't that horrible. It's able to take an Earthquake relatively well, and even some sandstorm damage there. Number 9. Venusaur is an amazing threat in the OU tier. Um, definitely Chlorophyll is probably the preferred ability here. If you get a sunny day up, you're able to double your speed, and being that Venusaur has Sleep Powder, and Sword Stance, and Growth, and all kinds of nasty tricks up its sleeve, it can really become a giant threat, fire off some nasty earthquakes, some nasty sludge bombs, and uh, basically obliterate almost anything that gets in its way uh, if you complete the coverage with Hidden Power Fire. I really like Venusaur, um, probably one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. Here we're going to see a, a Venusaur basically just Mega Evolve and devastate the Darmanitan with an earthquake. He switched it in here uh, because he had his Blastoise out. BOOM! Not quite a KO, but that is unboosted. And uh, that Darmanitan's hurting for certain. Number 8. The trolliest Pokemon that I've ever known is Sableye. He's just such a little dick. I uh, definitely want to use the Prankster ability with this little guy. And you can bulk out his special defense and then give him Will-O-Wisp so uh, he's able to tank any physical attacks that come his way and uh, maybe Toxic and recover and in this way you can stay on the stage for an exceedingly long time probably enough for your opponent to rage quit Stabilize uh, definitely deserves a spot in this list just due to his, uh, his bulk and his, his trolly nature I absolutely love this little guy he's definitely underestimated or was, I guess he's OU now, so people are, are starting to take notice of him, especially now that he has a Mega Evolution, but I don't really even go for the Mega Evolution. Sure, he could sweep, but uh, I like to keep him, keep him trolling, 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 what? <laughs> Here you're gonna see me swagger at Manitan, and he's gonna punch himself in the face for a bunch of damage. Swagger's banned in the metagame, but uh, it's pretty fun for Wi-Fi battles, at least. Number seven. Number seven slot goes to Talonflame. This thing is extremely versatile. It can uh, run a support set pretty well, but it obviously was meant to be a sweeper. 81 attack isn't bad. Throw a choice band on it. It's got Gale Wings, 
which actually gives a plus one priority to any flying move, and it does learn Brave Bird. So this thing will wipe some stuff off the map in a crazy, crazy way. It does have a lot of recoil damage, does a lot of damage to itself, but it also has Roost uh, if you can find the chance to use it. In Extreme Threat, with 126 speed, it can outspeed a lot of the metagame, and uh, once you've got your opponent's Choice Scarfers cleared out, this thing can uh, come in and just have a field day. Here you're going to see Talonflame, uh, just basically Flare Blitz a Lucario into the ground. Uh, this is the end of like a four Pokemon sweep. Oh my god, just just the madness that is Talonflame. You cannot deny him. Boosh. Number six. The number six slot goes to Caesar. This bug has been a huge, huge threat in the OU tier since its introduction. I don't think it's really fallen that far at all at any point during its lifetime. And for good reason, really, uh, its biggest weakness is fire. It has a lot of great resistances, and uh, fire is pretty easy to compensate for. Once you get this thing in, get it a couple sword dances, it can break down walls extremely easily, as well as a uh, priority bullet punch for revenge killing, and then uh, you can even give it a U-turn, choice scarf for choice band, and have it serve as a scouter. It has a lot of different roles, and uh, while it's always easy to tell that it's going to be a physical attacker, it's really hard to tell how it's going to go about that, which is one thing that I really like about Caesar. He's got a simple set, but he rocks it well. You're going to want Technician ability on this guy to boost your Bug Bite and Bullet Punches as well. Um, he can Mega Evolve, and his stats go up significantly, but um, generally I will go with the Sword Stance bulky leftovers. So here's a Sword Stance uh, Mega Evolved. Caesar, and it's basically just wrecking shit on this dude's team. For Uniclus, bat, Co Crobat, blam. Poor Crobat. I do love him so much, but uh, yeah, it's gotta happen. And then the Tyranitar, which of course is gonna take super effective damage. Sandstream does nothing. Goodbye to you, sir. Number five. Not only is Mew adorable, but he has so many movesets that it's hard to even list them. Really, I, I love a defensive Mew, and maybe even a baton passing set, but with so many options available, you really never know what Mew is going to do. Versatility is definitely this little kitty's strong suit, and uh, I, I don't hesitate to put him on any team, because he can fill just about any role relatively well. Here's a burn Tyranitar, we're gonna go ahead and send it a Mew, and um, get crunched, but that's fine. This is a physically defensive Mew, and it takes almost nothing from a super effective move. Number four. Number four is Mr. Heatran. Uh, this spot would go to Greninja, but... Uh, Greninja was removed from the metagame, unfortunately, for being just too awesome. So, uh, Heatran, I believe, is equally awesome with his multitude of resistances. Give him a balloon, he's good to go. And, um, he really can run a whole lot of sets. There's a protect and taunt, stally kind of set. And, uh, he's also a pretty good offensive fighter with his 130 special attack. So, if you give him a choice scarf, you just might catch some people off guard which is always a fun thing to do. <laughs> so here we're just gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Manectric, and uh, he does get me first with the Thunderbolt, but Eruption does a really good amount, even though I'm at, like, almost half, half-ish. I survived that fucking thing somehow, and I come back to nut the KO. Number three. Liskor is a poison bat that has uh, a decent amount of movesets to pick from. I personally like a really weird fling and acrobatics moveset with maybe um, some coverage, earthquake or something like that, and sword stance. Generally, if he has substitute and or protect, he will wreck some shit and basically stall anything to death. 
you do want to keep Poison Heal on your Gliscor. Maybe give him a Toxic Orb unless you think you're uh, that good at switching into uh, a Toxic. <laughs> I am not. So check out this Gliscor just eating a crunch. He only has 50 HP, but that physical D. What? He lives with 1 HP. Fucking that's the kill on that Tyranitar. Awesome, awesome Pokemon. Number two. Jirachi is one of those Pokemon that a lot of people dislike, uh, and I can understand that. It has the same base stats as Mew, meaning that you can build it in a ton of different ways. It has a wish and support set, but usually you'll see it with uh, Choice Scarf abusing its Serene Grace ability uh, using Iron Head or something of the sort, Body Slam, or both, and you get Pair Flinch to death, and I understand why people rage. But really, he is such a badass little Pokemon, and he's so bulky, able to take down a variety of threats, and always deserving the spot on my team, even if people rage about it. So here's a Serene Grace in action. Paralyze that Alakazam real good. And number one. Holy shit, Dragonite. I cannot go on about how much I love freaking Dragonite. Give this guy a Lumberry, okay? Or uh, that weakness policy thing. And basically send it in with multi-scale. Multi-scale being one of the best abilities ever. And this thing will sweep like a freaking broom. Um, I really like to send it in, get a couple dragon dances up, then you just outrage on everything, Lumberry back up, and you get a second string of outrages. Really, this thing is almost unfair. It learns extreme speed. Um, if you want to be sneaky, you can also give it a special attacking move. It learns all of the awesome moves. Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard. Dragonite is a huge, huge, huge threat. Also, a, an awesome Pokemon, um, and definitely worth worthy of the number one spot on the list. There are things that can take it down, but uh, not once it's set up. No, sir. <laughs> it's gonna eat through everything. So this this is a Dragonite with weakness policy and one Dragon Dance, and it just fucking flattens this Rhyhorn, which uh, maybe if it had Sturdy, it would be okay. But that's not the case. It's just gonna fucking eat through everything on this team. One Dragon Dance is faster than a Jolteon. Wow. Fucking Dragonite. So this has been my top 10 overused Pokemon list. I do hope that you've enjoyed. If you uh, think I misrepresented some Pokemon or missed some Pokemon, please do feel free to leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as it is feasible. <laughs> So this has been another Pokemon Days. I do hope that you've enjoyed, friends, and if you did enjoy, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.